View crew, what is up? Welcome back to POV here on a fine Wednesday, and we are here to do a match reaction. Um, we have heard uh, nothing as far as spoilers for this match, but we have heard mm -hmm. that it's a damn good one. Uh, and so we are very excited to, to sit here and watch Paige for Betty take on Peggy Gummins, uh, two people who we've also had on the channel before, two rookies who are coming in hot and making themselves know for sure. Uh, but before we get to that, Brian, Molly, how are you guys doing on this one? Is everyone good? Doing good. Excited to go to the movies in a couple hours. <laughs> that so is very exciting. true. Oh, that's right. You guys are going to a theater. Oh, Godzilla vs. Kong. We're going to so watch excited. it from home tomorrow. But yeah, ah, I'm jealous. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> Private screening, uh, socially distanced. So we have no, no nobodies. Um, with us, which is going to be a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, it's. I mean, it's been a well over a year since it's been in the theater. It's going to be very, very cool. Mm. Yeah, it's been feels like forever. Yeah, I think the last movie I saw was The Way Back in the first week of March of last year. I think mine might have been Birds of Prey, which was I, February of last year. Yeah, I have. I don't know what came out before Birds of Prey, but I remember we did not see Birds of Prey in the theaters. So I, whatever big blockbuster came out before that it was probably the last one we saw in theaters i think it was birds of prey it might have been price of skywalker to be honest unless something else came out in like january february because birds of prey was march birds of prey was february or february Fair. so yeah Son Man. sonic the hedgehog maybe no we didn't see that oh. <laughs> is that a blockbuster true didn't make a ton of money, but it was it was surprisingly good, which is funny. Yeah, um, yeah. What we'll have an update on that tomorrow. Uh, and oh we'll no, mine was the Invisible Man. I looked at it. Oh, up. oh no, Molly, you watched it at home. That's what it was. Yeah, no, I, I see. I'm like I'm one of those people who it's like it, even when theaters open back up, you're gonna have to convince me to put on real clothes and shoes and leave the house to see a movie. That's fair. That's why we did a private screening so we can go in whenever we want. Um, yep. there you go. which works. Um, it, it was cheaper than a normal ticket too with the, yeah, we're breakdown. because we, we have a, we have a, I mean, we have about 13 people I think are going and it's 10 50 for a Godzilla versus Kong opening night ticket. Like Oof. it's beautiful, beautiful. Um, all right. Well, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow. Uh, today we are obviously here to do, uh, for Betty versus Gubbins, uh, the Boston badass versus PG, the Den and The Usual Suspect. Super, super exciting. Um, two rookies who have made a mark so far, just in presence online. Um, obviously, they caught the attention of their managers to be drafted this year as well. Um, I know I'm, for one, very much looking forward to it. We we know that Peggy is part of the Fan League 4, um, so she obviously has a little bit of, uh, of a hype around her. And Paige is just a big personality that we enjoy seeing in, in these types of situations. Uh, she obviously talked to us as well, and she she came off very well. Um, so let's just get to it before we get going. Molly, I'll start with you. Are you picking Paige or Peggy? <laughs> you don't have them on fantasy. <laughs> I, I know, I know. I just, uh, I've been looking forward to seeing both of them play so, so, so much. And I, I love Paige's like vampire teeth. That's true. Oh, I think I have the logo. Even though people already know what it is, but let's see. Do I have it? Yeah, I got it right here. Yeah, that's just, I mean, and and her name is cool, but I don't want to piss off the, the fan league people. <laughs> so I feel like either way, I, I don't know. I'm going to go, I'm going to go Paige. I'm going to stay true to my Twilight roots and my love for, for vampires and just yeah, Paige. Paige is awesome when we talk to her, and so, yeah, I'll go her. But we're we're winning either way. Absolutely, absolutely, Brian. I feel so bad picking one. <laughs> I like them both so much. I I feel like I'm gonna get crap from you specifically if I don't pick the person from Boston. So I think I'm gonna go. Page. You're gonna go, go page? Yeah. Okay. Hey, look, it's fair. It's it's look, they, they both we know that Peggy obviously has has footage of her playing, but Paige came off, like I said, she came off like she knew what she was doing. 
Um, so I have I have no quarrels with anybody who picks Paige, but I'm going to go Peggy. I'm going to flip a little bit. I, I'm sticking with Peggy. Um, I just really like the way she comes off. I like her story. Uh, and from everything that we've heard from the other fan leaguers, it seems like she's someone that could really, really make an impact in this league. Um, but either way, like Molly said, it's a win-win. I mean, having these two young ladies in this league yeah. is going to be very fun. Uh, Paige seems like she's very good at the personality side of it. Peggy looks like she's very good at the trivia side of it. Um, and uh, it could be a cool little wi- rivalry that might might be built between the two of them, right? Two young women coming in the league together might be fun. I, I hope they both win. That's, <laughs> it's just never ending and Christian and Mark call it. Yeah. Yep. That's exactly what I'm hoping. So. See, I, I would say that I would hope for that too, but if – if they do that, then then they'd have to do that with Alex and Demolata, and they would never <laughs> let that fly. So I can't let that, that happen. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Uh, all right, let's just get to it. Uh, we're going to skip the cutscene because we know that it's the cutscene from the pay per view on last Friday. Leo, thank you for that one. And we'll get right into the promo. Brian, it is all yours, sir. What's up, Amaru? Oh, he's in there? Hey, what's up, Amaru? Hello. Hi. My name is Peggy. Um, I think I'm going to tell you the story of how. Oh, I this is her audition tape. Oh, I, I forgot our all of our cool I know this discs. I went back through my text messages. Somehow, the free for all three came into my algorithm. I dig this guy's vibe, but why is he wearing a Hannibal Lecter mask? <laughs> oh, yeah, this girl's got two belts. She's got to be good. Mark Wahlberg, Legends of the Fall. He kisses an egg. <laughs> I like this guy. Rachel, no, not Rachel. Oh, oh. Ooh, That's cool. I love it. I was hooked. I texted my older brother Mike because not only is he a big movie fan like me, he is a lifelong wrestling fan. The last thing we ever talked about actually was oh, the match between me. Mike Kalinowski and Gene and Shane. <sighs> then a couple days after that, I get a call from my mom asking if I had spoken to Mike recently. He had not shown up for work the past two days, and no one's been able to get a hold of him. So we called the Vegas Police Department to do a wellness check on him, and he had died. The last thing we ever talked about was the Schmodown and how I wish that he had joined the families, but he never did. I joined the families, and now I am probably the most active female in the families. I have wins in most of the major families. I think Mike would be proud just to have my name on the list of draft eligible players. So here's me shooting my shot. Thank you for this opportunity to throw my hat in the ring. So hopefully see you soon. Goodness. What oh. a story. I, I told Jake not to make us pick people, and this is what happens. How dare you? I want, they're both need winning. To be quiet for just a little bit, okay? I'm shooting a promo. <laughs> <laughs> we, we say that to Hilo every time, I, and he's like, that We've heard Kyle Bar plenty of times back then. Yeah. <laughs> Those dogs. Mm-hmm. Those damn dogs. I will always rep for the family four, but uh, we're all split up now. And I would say that I'm on my own right now, but I am so not on my own. I got to look. <gasps> she has a Ted Lasso me. sign in the background. I might like change my vote. <laughs> She's from your neck of the woods, I believe. That's right, from my neck of the woods, from Kate's neck of the woods. Don't. Chicago? On Boston over Chicago. Thrilled uh, uh, that good fortune has shined upon me that she is still available. Uh, Paige for Betty. <laughs> Welcome to you. <laughs> March 31st, this Boston badass is about to take Peggy, whatever her last name is, down. I'm about to show who who the real lioness is in this league. The suspects. I love her accent, too. Yeah. Amadou did his job, Reed did her job, and I have every bit of confidence in Paige that she's going to handle her competition just as easy. This is a lady who lives movies. When it comes to my movie knowledge, I can compare to the greats in Boston, like Big Poppy, Bobby Orr, <laughs> and Larry Bird. Sam and the Usual Suspects saw that. <gasps> we could have I one am? basketball player. We're gonna take Larry Bird yeah. over Michael Jordan. Just <laughs> 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 how that turns out for you. And yes, okay. we have more Super Bowl wins huh. than we do. Nice. 
we're undefeated against. Thank you for the warning. <laughs> Sometimes I'm Boston I'm a little uh, skittish seven. when it comes to sports hey, references. I know you were in the fan leagues. I love that she's got a hockey stick. That that's awesome. Part of this fan league four, but you've never faced this Boston rap before. They both so have such cool things in their backgrounds. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. She was maybe the best investor. That Ted Lasso I sign though. Made in my singles choices and rookies. Two thumbs up. I mean, look, am I putting too much pressure on her? I hope not, but the point is, I think she's gonna be able to live up to it. The mission is bringing points home to the faction. That is how I am going to be a valuable member of the Den this season. So I'm sorry, Boston Badass, but uh, you're gonna have to start off the season with an L, because I'm not coming home without them. Ooh, Lord, I have chills. This is gonna I'm be good. Really excited. This is gonna be good. I. This is the match I've been waiting for since they were announced. <sighs> Reefton, why are you saying you thanks? What's it, that it's for? It's just it's 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 a touch. Did I miss something? Story uh, all what? the way around, and everything kind of. Uh, uh, thanks, when you thanks, watch Jake. It, Mark, what is they're making us choose? Stuff, uh, of course, oh, relate oh, to oh, God, God, watch God. The, well, you know what? It's my job. And the way it, it blends over, and then to see Paige's reaction when she's watching. Oh, juicing first. I didn't see you skip ahead for a second. I was like, whoa! Usual <laughs> what an edit. <laughs> uh, speaking of edit, happy birthday, Mr. Nerd Chronic. Happy birthday, Nerd Chronic. The Boston Badass. Hey. God, that Nick. Hey. Paige, I know Go-go. you've been waiting for it. I know oh, you've been waiting for the introduction. You are here. You have made it. What's it been like waiting for that first match? Oh, man, I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time. And let's just say, I'm ready. Peggy, I'm sorry, man, but you're going to have to bring your A game today because I'm ready for battle, and it's going to be a war. Yeah, I certainly brought your Star Wars game on display in the background. So if I had to ask you, Paige, what sort of energy you're bringing to this match? Is it more like the Grogu, the, the positive, the light side of the Force, or are you more Imperial? Are you more Sith? Is it more dark side from you here today? Rebel all day, baby. <laughs> well, you know, I will say this. Paige, I think Ellis is probably looking for a little bit more elaboration. Yeah. Levine, obviously, as I mentioned, we saw in the I promo request elaboration. you were excited. You you jumped up. You were ready. You knew you were going to be in the league right before you were getting in here. You were calling out some big names. You were calling out Ben Bateman. You were calling out some names. Do you, you're you that really? confident. You're ready to come in here mm. and, and kick some ace. <laughs> oh, I mean, you, you can't say ass, but it's in her name. name. <laughs> awesome badass, man. I mean, you got to call out those big boys, and man, I just I can't wait to play them. So let's just get this one under the belt first so I can get to those guys now. Well, thank you, Paige. I love and it. we are now going to bring She's in. She's very confident. Yay for kick ass women. Her opponent representing the den, making her schmoda. Peggy Gummins! Peggy Gummins, you have arrived. You have made it. I have seen the journey. I understand the lengths of what it has taken for you to get here. I see Miss Congeniality. What has it been like from Devil Wears Prada? Uh I was going to say, yeah. To understanding going to the fan leagues, to getting into the draft, and finally Alabama. here. Well, in the immortal words of the outfield, could not wait for this moment to come, couldn't wait for this day to begin. I have been looking forward to this for a very long time. Paige, talk to smack all you want. You Got to bring it in the game. Let's go. Uh, I cannot Let's wait go. to go on vacation far away. But Peggy, as I try to figure out how many Van Halen CDs are up on your wall behind you, <laughs> my question is simple. Your you DVDs, that, Mark. That- <laughs> Midwestern, although some of them could be seen. city kind of vibe to the schmodown. But do you know anything about the Boston badass? Have you been able to kind of game plan towards your opponent today, or is it all about what's in your head and you're not worried who's across the desk? I did a little bit of research on her ahead of this match, but it's me versus the questions right now. Whoever's sitting on the other side, I'm paying no mind to. All right, so Peggy, one last question for you. You know, being part of the den, what's it been like working with Kate Mulligan? 
There you go. It's been fantastic. The camaraderie between the all band right, this cool. season has been amazing. Uh, we all every time she's on camera, they're all different. We have to name them all. Hopefully, I'm ready. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's see. Ladies that's on challenge, Peggy. That's on we challenge. We are Mark. What are the rules around number one? You know, all right, ladies and gentlemen, well, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, really if you've not done it before, us, like, the way our question. reactions so work here on the channel is we just play a long question for question. Uh, whiteboard for whiteboard in the first round, point. second and third round, complete shout out. No we'll see how we do. And as Molly mentioned, one. before we started, we will not do as good as we did at the FC. I was doing so well, and I was feeling so good about myself. That's all about to go down the toilet. To the microphone. <laughs> Keep in mind, you each have three. What color is everyone using today? I'm using red. The I've got uh, maroon. Sure Ooh. I don't know where my green seconds. went, but Use yeah, I have a whole box of colors now. So. Just repeat, jete. We're pretty loose about that. You also each have one challenge to be utilized whenever you feel like it. We'll bring in your manager. They'll confirm and ratify that <laughs> said challenge is taking place after some deliberation. And Chris, no, Reeves, I see no. focus. And I see heart and I see grit. Thank you, Billy. Appreciate I think that. that. It's just up to us to ask the questions and get out of these ladies' way. PG, are you ready? <laughs> this is so Here true. Boston badass, are you ready? I'm a computer's Here's teacher, so I don't have to use red pen. Number one question. It's number red one. font. We're going to start with yeah. directors. Oh, and I'm done. What famous comedic actor? Directed the films Reality Bites, The Cable Guy, and The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Oh my God! Why am I blinking on his name? You would a uh, you forget it. Uh, uh, would you be, would you be an assassin? Would you be a doctor? What do you mm, got? I'd be okay. I'd sell pineapples in Hawaii. Five. I don't know. I'm not four, even going to embarrass myself. Oh, three, right. two, one. Pens down, please. Hands Pens up. Down. I said Peggy. Jim Carrey because he's Pens in down. one of those. Yes, Paige. <laughs> My man, Ben Stiller. It's not a bad guess, though. High game as we get to question. I don't, I don't know what all he's directed. Uh, junkies, uh, eraser, real quick, for you guys. <laughs> here we go. Plug the shows, and I like it. Here we go. Here's the next one. We'll take any and all plugs around here. Your next category is the world of black cinema. And the question Which rapper stars as Captain Antoine Mack in the 2004 nah. film Soul Plane? actually know this uh actually, i shouldn't say that the because then i'm gonna the add a mess. fan league four to now compete here as we see oh yeah Amra moses and christy v before her five take a four, guess because he's been one. in a couple movies Hands down Snoop Dogg? Hands Snoop? Up, please and <gasps> kate Snoop, Snoop. cedric the entertainer that's incorrect that's not guess, though. and peggy I'll say that i want Snoop Dogg. That is correct. Student oh, best I'm, role. So, I'm so embarrassed. Has, I didn't add the double G. I'm the first. I didn't put one either. Molly, so. we get to <laughs> question number three. Fantasy sci-fi. Jake Gyllenhaal, Rebecca Ferguson, <laughs> and Ryan Reynolds play scientists on the International Space Station in which 2017 sci-fi horror film? I didn't realize Peggy, Rebecca Ferguson was in it. Peggy and I share the he same is. brain where it's you got to put your shoes the on. Cast is stacked. Good the shoes. Back Look at that. Nice For kid. some reason, it made me hungry. I don't know why. That would <laughs> Five. Not hard. Four. Susan <laughs> Three. Two. <laughs> one. Pens down. Please. Life. And we life. start with, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, Peggy. I actually haven't Peggy, seen this. But... Ben Wilder for fun. Is it incorrect? And a lot of people thought it was a Cloverfield life. movie. Yes. Oh, yeah. Peggy's got to get one, man. Come on, you got this. Tie game. Here's the Are next you one. trying to talk smack? That's adorable. Oh. Uh, I like yeah. that. I like this already. Look at the moxie on these two. I like it. And now we get to Back, question man. four. I'm telling you guys, rivalry right, is being born four. right now. It's category of movie Happening. quotes. And the question. Which classic film coined the line, there's no place like home? Brian, you've seen this, correct? And Boy, mm -hmm. ain't that the truth? Unless Although, uh, for some reason, my hand started writing something else. You currently walk by. Well, there is another movie of its kind that is named different. Oh, so. five, no, it would have been four, completely wrong. Three, two, one. Pens down, page. The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz. My hand yes. started writing Cinderella. <laughs> what? I have no three, idea why. Three, as we get to and our was like, my brain was like, what are you doing? This is question five. This is new releases. Camille Ninjani and... 
And Issa Rae stars a couple who gets caught up in a murder. Non oh, what is this in called? Non Gianni. Oh, oh my God! I wanted to watch this so bad. Read oh, about Camille's workout for that movie he's working what is this on. Called? It's not the workout. Uh, fun it's fact: Kumail Nanjiani in the Obi-Wan. Quiet, cast. quiet, you. No beer. I'm part of the Obi Wan series, baby. Three, two, oh my God, I'm gonna. Go I can't remember. Hands down, the lumbers. And Paige. I have not Love seen this, but that is correct. I remember Ooh, seeing correct. Uh, four, three, a trailer four, for it. Three. Netflix As bought that movie like a week before it was supposed to hit theaters. A one point lead here. The Warner Brothers just dumped it. And that's in the category of comedies. <sighs> so bummed. Right. Take it. Your question. I knew it started Which with an L. Which actress too. starred in and wrote the screenplay for the 2019 comedy Late Night? Oh my so god, I can cool. literally see it. Yeah, and the yeah. review. Schmoes. Well, I don't want to do. It. Oh. I don't want to say anything yet because it's just, in case I give anything away. Uh, I'm asking for a number. Five. I think this movie's brilliant. By the way, Three. I really, really enjoyed this movie. One. And it's and Mindy Kaling. Mindy Kaling. And Sorry. we God. start with eight. Mindy Kaling. Yes. Kaling. Yes. Hey. Didn't get it. I went Emma Thompson. Oh, hey, she was the other one. Who she was in it. Yeah. 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 A five-three lead. Five-three, and we get to man. They're going back and question. forth. Next question, and that is question seven. These are good questions Wrong. too. Which 2018 film follows the relationship of musicians Jackson and Allie Mae, <gasps> whose love oh. is threatened by Jackson's oh. alcoholism? <laughs> Don't start singing the songs. For who? Oh. I'm just talking about relationships. I gave up after you started. You're going to say that. I see. I set you up. Five. Damn you, PJ, for this Four. one. Damn my new you. Favorite, my new favorite karaoke Two. song. One. Pens Star down. Star is born. And Peggy. A star is born. Yes. Jake could not stop singing and that humming that soundtrack for that like. Going. Look at the Monty in the, on the shell. Six shell four. Six four <laughs> as she keeps the two point lead, and we get to our last question in round number one. Mark, we got. It's in the category of mystery. Thank you for finishing that off. Really appreciate query, that. <laughs> which Oscar-winning actor plays the marble mouth? You gotta really belt it, Freddie Fenster, in the film. The oh, usual God, which suspects. one is this? Oh, God. You just got to wonder what the odds are of me asking a question uh, like that when, in fact, one of the factions competing today, Christian. The marble mouth? Oh, yeah. I'm. What does that mean? Let's see. Uh, Can you repeat the question? He talks like, like, well, uh, right. like that. Two probably. JTE rules mm. remaining in the category mm. of mystery. Which Oscar uh, I, think, I think this is it. Marble mouth criminal Freddie Fenster in the film. I only know that. Suspects. Oh, man. Not to be confused with the slightly less popular fact. It's not one of Sam Levine mm -hmm. would make this a priority for everyone to watch. <laughs> it's five. It's a good movie. Four. Three, I think this is the Star two, Wars actor. One. Hands down, please. And Benicio del Toro. I can't remember if this is his name or not. So I don't care. No. Correct. And I, I put Sam Levine. Gabriel Byrne. Oh. Mm. Looking for Benicio del Toro. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Yes. For real. Put me in, coach. Back up the mic. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Please. Didn't work out. No editing that no, out. No, we can't. There's nothing we can do about it. All right, six four, six four, and the suspects and the Boston Badass up by two as we get into our second round. Mark, uh, how's everybody doing after that one? I know that you guys Peggy. are pumped up. Uh, uh, pumped up even more. I, if you've been watching anything, I'm enjoying. Excuse me, lady. Who do you think you are getting six points? Brand new app. I, app I don't know. I it every day. I've been maybe with maybe that guys. FCL stuff is wearing off on me, and it's unlocking stereos. Hell, portions of my stereo right now. What is stereo app? Portions of my brain. Live social. I'm perfect. I got eight. Go and join mm. Stereo today. I promise you, you're getting ahead of the curve. Stereo.com slash FCL. Sorry. Excuse me. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Also, Jake, you should join the FCL. It is the wheel <laughs> round. The wheel of fate, <laughs> doom, and justice. And I told it. Our writer, uh, DJ Campbell, actually brought goodness. a physical. No, he he did not. After the way so you played on FCL the other night, I don't know if I want to. Mind, you might have to. Settle on a category. Going to have four questions. Molly went in perfect in round. every question. question. And in, only you in both matches. In now, both matches. You not know the answer. You think you're close, mm -hmm. but you want to be sure. And Jake, multiple choice. And he got a bonus question that wasn't even asked. You think is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question <laughs> Such a lie. goes from two down to one. 
that's important because stealing is available in let's, round number two. So if you do, miss let's the just question, do this just to make him mad. Look at that, and, and he and points. he walks away. We also have God a damn sponsored it. wheel slice, Christian. <laughs> it's always exciting when one of our movie trivia showdown patrons says, "Hey, I'm sponsoring a slice on that wheel." And today it is Here we go, Jake. Robert Redford. One, I call him Bob. Two, stop it. Call him Robert Redford. Should one stop, of our competitors uh, spin the Hello? Robert Redford wheel slice? <laughs> bit and field questions. We will say the name of that Patreon member of the Schmodown. Thanks to all our patrons out there. Chris, yes. back to you. All right. So Party films. I am like Paige, you have Scarjo and Lucy. I'm unlocking all, all of my brain. Do I, I to, really uh, I really enjoy that movie. No, you have I think it's a really, really You enjoy small. Scarlett you Johansson. Decide you want to I think. Go True facts. Right, <laughs> but yes, that, I, did, I did like that movie. Right I like the I ending. I like the ending a lot. Reefton, is that how you say right now you are crushing every No, because Berlin is bare. So that's the wall. Badass, I know you are oh. to the movie trivia. I know German. Movie. I'm so glad you wanted to go first. You are rolling. Tell, tell I mean, me it's the wall, Reef Tell me it's the wall. Get in your way. How do you feel? I feel good. <laughs> I want you to be like, no. <laughs> it's gonna be like Absolutely. idiot. I'm not or something. I don't want to waste any time. Probably. Take you out of the zone. Probably. Do that wheel. Wouldn't be surprised. So now the wheel is up, and here. See, this is the fun part because we don't know what they are the best at or what here. they, they don't know. Like what she first, Dear God, she please not David Fincher. They're so know. fresh. Yes, give me no, no. Oh, no. oh. so close to 2010. Starting now. All right, we discussed this at length. This one is a 50-50 shot. If we land on it, it's totally fine. <laughs> but since it was our first spin, how do you feel about going again? I mean, I'm comfortable with it, but there's a lot of other ones on there that I think I can Yeah, I agree. Make so, things happen with. Right. So yeah. Interesting. Okay. Again. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh, she's aiming I, for. I agree. Because I don't there's, know anything. There's not like there's not like a sports movie or something on there, right? Uh, I don't think so. Mystery oh, films. Oh, 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 mystery right. films. So mystery hmm. films. All right. So All right, Paige, we, you got I like JTEs left. Use them if you need them. We got the challenge if we need it. You got. It. Usually, so it's a mystery if I've seen the movie or not. Mystery films. Mystery films for Paige. Paige, you're gonna get. Actually, no, it's not because usually I have it. The realm of mystery. We already films. know the answer before it's asked. Are you ready? Yeah, pretty much. Let's do this. All right, here you go. Here's question number one. Who directed the 2009 Ryan Johnson. Knives Out? Oh, I forgot we were yelling. <laughs> Ryan Johnson. Who gets that one? Right. Uh, that's me for sure. Number two. Uh, I don't know. Who received a Best Actress Oscar nomination? Ben Affleck. For her performance. Oh, shit. That's a, that's a woman. Uh, Rosamund Pike, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I like Ben Affleck. I'll say it. Ben Affleck, too. <laughs> oh, God. Can you, can you say that again? You broke up a little bit. Oh, uh, Rosamund Pike. Yes, that is correct for two points. Thank you, Selvin. Right. Thank you. Selvin, you're on my list now. Here's the next question. He doesn't have a list, Selvin. Reefton said it first, though, that I got what it. What 1985 film from director Barry Levinson tells how the famous characters Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson first met? Oh, God. What's the name of it? Uh, Sherlock Holmes. That's what I'm going to go <laughs> with. Just go to... Uh, mm. I'm going to go on a multiple choice. Let's play right. Okay. Sure. Is it A, the 7% solution? B, the private life of Sherlock Holmes. C, the hound of... The I'm going to say C. Or D. I'm going to say Young D. I'll say B. Brian, you get those two, by the way. They are voting you. Can you so. just repeat the question all together, please? The question all together? Okay. Selwyn gets yes. outnumbered on this question. one. All right. I'm Let's going B. One. What 19... We're going C on this one. ...from director... Barry Levinson tells. I feel like the name characters mm -hmm. Sherlock Holmes and Doctor. I feel like the name has to have Sherlock a, Holmes in it. Seven percent. Mm, I feel like it's going to be one of those things Sherlock that Holmes. it's not C, using the, the name of the Baskervilles or D. Young Sherlock Holmes. I'm going to go with D. Young Sherlock Holmes. And that would be correct for one oh. point. Yes. So that is ah. Here's your final question. Here's your final question. Pat on the back for me. You're right. Which Good actress guess. plays the character of Emily? Was a wealthy young mother. Oh, 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 uh, oh, what's your name? Damn it. <laughs> 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 Brian. Uh, 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 <laughs> Damn it. Uh, 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 u
Lively. Yes. For two more points. What a round! By I still Grace haven't seen that, and I've been wanting to see oh, it forever. It's so good. That's a movie for you. It's like her and uh, Anna, Anna Kendrick. Anna yeah. Kendrick. Anna Kendrick. You, whatever it is that you need to do right now, I need you to do it. I need you to go scream in the hall. I need you to go take a lap. Whatever you have to do, you got to shake it off. <laughs> Because I can see you imploding, and you don't need to be. Because this first round, we can come back from. It's two points. Do you know how? Do you know how many two point matches end not the way that the first round started? So, sister, you have. I mean, she can get within this. one if shake she goes perfect. It. Yeah. Say it with me. I'm gonna shake. Wow, I like this, Kate. Mm -hmm. Because the I'm truth good. is, I know you're good. And that's the thing. I know you're good. And I know you're better than what you, we just saw. And you're going to prove that right now. Shake it off. Exhale it all. You have got this. Control. control Billy, I would I would okay? slightly agree with you. I would say can't accepted control. is Blake Lively's best movie. Can't control Chicho and Dunkin' Donuts napkins. All we can do is control how well you play. Okay? So you do you. Let's go. And wow. I like it. That was awesome. She didn't even let uh, Peggy talk, which was good. That Robert Redford she, she didn't slice. even need to. Just Plus chilling good. out there. No. You want to go to Sundance? You called it. It almost got, and it's Oprah. Ooh. It's Oprah. Mm -hmm. Sixty seconds. Oh, what do you think about this one, Peggy? Um, I'm thinking. In, there's other. Stay? I think I want to stay on this one. There's other ones that I am more afraid of. Wow. I mean, I right. I said this that's before, but that's about. a that's pretty. The spirit. Let's do this. All it's right. a pretty Plans small questions. cat, yeah, compared Winfrey, to some of those other ones. Oprah Winfrey. All right. That's right. Oprah Winfrey, famed performer. I hear she does interviews now. And uh, your question is going to be about the movies that Oprah has appeared in or maybe done some work behind the scenes. Peggy, your first question. In the world of Oprah, for two points, Oprah Winfrey appeared in which film from director? The Color Purple. The Color Purple. The Color Purple. Two points uh, for Peggy. No, I, I think just, you and I got that at the same time because I slowed down is, at the end. I was just going to say the color purple for all of these. Selma and a Ava Duvernay. Time in which Oprah oh. I would have noticed that if I wasn't listening to Molly. <laughs> Sorry. I know you're fine. motivational speech from Mulligan had me wanting to run 10 miles, and I think it worked. All right, here's the next question. And in the category of Oprah, your penultimate question for two points. Oprah Winfrey appears in what 1986 film from director Gerard Friedman, which also stars Matt Dillon, Victor uh, Love, and Elizabeth McGovern. It's not... It's, it's, Native son. Okay. And that is two more points, and Peggy is <laughs> cooking. She's got one question left, and she can cut the lead Look to this. one point heading into perfect? round number three. Look at this. If mm. she gets her two points here, and it is... Which comedic actress plays the character Mrs. Who? Mindy Kaling. In the film, A Wrinkle in Time. The aforementioned Mindy Kaling. She's oh, a popular nice. here oh. today, as are these two competitors. I never, I never watched the movie because I heard it was absolute trash. It I, was same. absolute same. trash. What a game it is. I heard it was Both so bad that I just never watched very, it. Very happy with I didn't even, like, after be, seeing the trailers, I was just like, mm, pass. You know what's funny is, is what so that was right after David so Duvernay did Selma. And everyone saw the trailer and was like, oh, my God, she's doing kind of like a sci-fi fantasy epic. It has this cast, and then it just out. Like we do have sudden death in case we get oh, just such a bummer because it makes you such a talented director. I can't do it on the fly. I can tell you the she rules. obviously did that so that little that limited series on Netflix. I'm forgetting the name of it. Numbers, to be exact. Uh, um, about the four young boys. One to twenty. Um, you may not pick the same numbers as your opponent. Oh God, what's the name of that show? Because each. Can I say though to a different that of movie weirdly, my strengths lately have been Jennifer Lopez and Oprah. Big points. What does that say about you, Brian? I have no idea. Boston badass has a <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, advantage. I killed. Page, you Absolute you murder. First, from one to now, okay, that sounds bad. <laughs> I did really well. <laughs> you did very well in that category. Oh, thank you. Thank you, King. Thank you, the, Mr. The King. When they see us on Netflix. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Nine, four, and 18. All right. And for PG. <laughs> Just, yeah, I, I agree. Just lean into it. Three, uh, seven, Reef Todd such 11. a brilliant idea. He'd be so mad. Dude, you are 
own. You should start st- right studying now. Sally Field I'm so movies. I'm glad. You know how what a bummer. Just, yeah, just nail all those slices. I don't know why the name the came to my mind, but okay. So she has a talk all she wants about that two. Oh, it's because she was not being a factor. In it's an enormous Spider-Man. factor right now. Okay, and we are not going to get there. that. And I want you to know that you have. <laughs> oh, I see Claude in the background of the three. picture. This is <laughs> Hi, Gio. 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 Made. You got this. You got one repeat left. This is how you know you're a table. nerd. My friend right, just texts me and says, "Who wins right, in a fight? With you, Justice League or the Avengers?" Your game. <laughs> oh, right literally, your that's it. No well, context. I, feel I guess so great. Not so easily. Are we including Superman? My yeah, if it, it, it's more than likely Justice League because right of the sheer fact that they have Wonder Woman and in Superman. Right? I mean, their yeah, characters Superman's are kind of OP. Plus, plus, plus you throw in someone like Green Lantern, it's kind of like, even though like the Avengers have Hulk. That's time. Thank you. And four, they do have two humans on the team. So. This is all that matters right here, okay? They, I would love to vote have, Avengers, but Superman okay, takes the cake over. Scared, everybody, you, you so. Yeah. You had, uh, you had perfect uh, apologies did to you, Paige you, and Peggy you, for no, going no, off right? on that tangent. <laughs> so whatever you, that was always in you. Uh, uh, Chuck, I imagine we're talking um, uh, the, 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 the movie versions. Brian Moore has a very interesting question, though. JL Avengers of the Fast and Furious crew. Oh, well. Where the Fast and the Furious is going, probably. I don't know. I would take Dom and Brian all day up against JL. You put Vin Diesel in a Dodge Charger? He takes out Superman, uh, easy. Plus, you have the rock. Thank it's like in so much. Yeah. All right, round three. And let's be honest. At some point, they're going to make their way to space. Peggy Gubbins. They're probably going to battle the Avengers or someone. I don't know. Probably. Ready. All right, here you go. For your two. Billy's question, right. Fast and Furious because of family. Three. Yeah, <laughs> and Corona. Films. Disaster <laughs> films. Here's your first one. Who plays the character of Grace? Who's the daughter? Uh, Liz of Tyler. 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 Uh, Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler. Liv Tyler. Say Liv. You said Liz. Said Liz. I'm, I knew it was Liv Tyler, and too. We bounce now to Paige. <laughs> I'm giving myself half a point on that. I knew I was right. I'm going to miss a thing or a point here to get the lead back on her side of the ledger. She's chosen the category of Oh, did you catch Mark's miss a thing? For two little points joke. And to I love that song. Regain the lead. Who plays the main lead, Walter Sparrow, oh my God, I love in the number 23? I've I was never obsessed even with Oh, this. was this the movie where he's obsessed oh, with the number twenty three? Yeah. Everything adds up to twenty three. Yeah, money, his best work. Yeah. Christian. That's some that's some QAnon BS, and I don't like it. It's it's <laughs> wild. <laughs> you once you watch it, you start thinking seven, it, it's seven. crazy. It's crazy. That's Disney film. Billy, don't start Disney with me. Film. I'm a computers Category teacher seven. and PE seven. teacher, so right, let's be honest. Who plays the character of Scrooge? In nineteen, uh, Bill Murray, the Muppet Christmas no, Carol. No, that's in Scrooged, not no. the characters. Yeah, crap. I don't know who plays him. Ooh, I do get so excited that I, I wonder. If, the question. I wonder if Jill knows this because she says she knows Disney, but this is a real person. Four, three, two, one. All right. I'm just let, okay. Ninety-two go. actors who, who can play a old gray-haired man. Don't you dare try to pull Gee, this who can be when, it, when it's been Scrooge sitting in the in chat. No, no, I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm, chat. I'm not in the chat. I'm trying to think of well, older I'm men back then. It's Selvin. That's what I 100% thought it was right. 90s. Oh, no, I would have never pulled Michael Caine's. Correct. Wow. Oh, 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 oh Michael Caine. Yeah, I, I would have never pulled Michael Caine. Massive, wow. massive I would have never put Michael yes, Caine and the Muppets in the same category. The, the person that kept coming to my mind was Anthony Hopkins. Hop I knew that wasn't right. Oh, I just watched oh, Mask of Zorro, so right. I can only oh, see oh, him oh, as like a oh, young whippersnapper. Love that. We actually know around the movie trivia showdown. It's the nickname of this season. You also watched another movie that people would be very excited to hear that you watched. For three points. Oh, yeah. The Zorro, we watched a week or so. Nicole ago, Kidman but... and Hugh Jackman co star. Australia. What, 2008? Damn, what? You've seen a 2008 war drama? No, but I knew that they starred together in the movie because I was like, ooh, Australia, my favorite country. Uh... <laughs> oh, no. Is she not going to get this? Four. 
Three. Two. I'm going to go Woolworth. Mm. Oh no! Oh no! Now now she has five. Australia was the answer. All right, so here's where uh, we are. Molly, five tell question. the chat Four what page. movie you watched. Hits, oh yeah, uh, we watched Peggy and forces Batman: The Mask answer. of the Phantasm. However, if she misses, because Jill has been PG, harping Peggy it, Peggy will <laughs> win the match. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ten. All right, Paige, you chose category eighteen. And that is in German isn't even an accent. It's just yelling really loud <laughs> and aggressive. 2010s for Paige for Bretty. And she chose the number of how many championships the Boston Celtics have. She can add her own little chapter to Boston lore, possibly by getting this question correct and forcing the hand of Gubbins. I watched Justice League you War. Go. So question. we both watched animated. Five points <laughs> and the lead. Which Marvel actor? Stars is the character Tommy opposite Carrie Mulligan and Kira oh Knightley. oh um I'm um, 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 what's his name never ah, Mark Ruffalo <laughs> I'm gonna say Colin Farrell because he did star he did star as Bullseye so I'll say Colin Farrell five unless I'm Four. thinking of something completely different. I have no <laughs> idea. Which is one hundred percent true. Okay. See, the the catch there is that they didn't Which they didn't say Marvel MCU. They said oh, Marvel. true. And so I'm I'm gonna go someone outside of the MCU. I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna say Colin Farrell. And five, ten, four, three. I'm gonna go Sebastian Stein. Oh! 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 So the chat is saying Andrew Garfield. Apparently, it was Andrew Garfield. That's why those points didn't matter going into round three. Oh, Buffer! Andrew Garfield. That was Andrew Garfield. Garfield was the answer. Andrew Garfield was the answer. Heartbreaking oh. loss for Paige Ferretti and oh, Sam yeah. Levine. But what a battle. What a it was. great. Oh, what I'm a so glad I didn't get this spoiled. Scrapping back. What about? I same. don't think this is the last time we see the Boston Badass and PG. No, they're no, absolutely not. Today. There is PG, definitely a little fire between. Congratulations. Between. Great. Great victory here, Kate. Congratulations. Great comeback. You guys will be with Jen Sturger in just a moment here. So thank you very much. Oh, Mark, she's, unbelievable. She's loving it. She's, what she's a match emotional. It was. Uh, phenomenal. I feel like that, Sam said, like, you know, that was just a couple of questions at the end there. She just, she just didn't know. You know just I don't even care about the rest of the matches. Match happens. of the week. And when you Those were, man, did, though, I, I feel for Paige, Kate though. Those were hard round three questions. That that I, Sometimes like, I loved well, all the questions uh, in this match. Yeah, you got a lot of them. Mainly because it got, them. Me, I should, I it got me to head. double digits. She didn't do but, that. You know, she how many pocket, points did you get? Took the victory. I'm definitely uh, in last. Thirteen. Two points. Oh. Yeah, it Gubbins and for Betty, both big sports fans, and they know it's it. Ain't oh, thank you, Silent Moose. That was certainly the case with this matchup here today. Like you said, is there an end credit scene? Everybody, an introduction just to keep us keep us on our toes. Stars. In the movie Trivia Schmodown at Galaxy, a tough, tricky five pointer there. You hear Marvel actor, your mind naturally tends towards the right. MCU, forgetting all those Adam other Marvel C. films. Yeah, I absolutely do what Mark and just for Gubbins, said. I mean, who doesn't love a victory celebration that's emotional and, of course, includes a dog reminding me that I have to leave to pick up mine? I will throw you out of there because I'm going to throw anyway to both Peggy and Kate. No end credits. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you. Oh, Peggy, congratulations. Oh, You've so had happy. An emotional journey to get here. Please tell me, what does this win mean to you? This is the best present I could hope for. Uh, just is Peggy still in the chat? The that I've gone through to get here. Peggy, are you still here? This turmoil that just. If you are, congrats. Be a part of it today, and having it be my first match. Great dub. It's amazing. Great win. 
who has being Peggy a part of it. I'm like, that's all you, girl. You're gonna make me tear up. How is this happening Dwayne. in a virtual world where I'm getting emotional over a digital <laughs> interview? Damn it. <clears throat> oh. But Kate, it's because you can, it's because you can feel how sincere it is coming. It, from it honestly, it, it truly does. I feel the passion that these rookies are coming in here with, and it makes me so excited for the future of this league. Kate, you've got to be feeling the same way right now. But I have to say to you, that pep talk that you gave her before she started her round two, I saw two completely different competitors. Oh, oh. And I just well, happy know, belated like, birthday. Happy belated. Congratulations. I that is, uh, I saw her wow. doing hard math. Thinking, I wish I had no one of Sean's little this. poppers. Just and oh. you, you brought her out of it. I think I, I think job, that's Peggy. getting me too much credit and her too little. I think she just needed a reminder that. If you want to come talk your match outside, let us know. It was her. It was her game to we win. Love to have her you. game to lose. And I think it's things like. Or Monday, Monday not Sunday. Monday, Monday like sorry. That, in that question, she she knew the movie. Yeah, I'm skipping Easter. It wasn't recording on Monday. I knew it was Mindy Kaling. I'm sorry, but yeah. Yeah, no, and I and that's the, I could I could see that happening. See, I, I can I, I can you know, totally see where she's coming from. Her little, very first match, snap out of it she struggled in the first round, first kind of getting down on herself. But Kate, man, just <laughs> that yeah. right and back in the shape. Look back on this, we're gonna say, listen, that's not the way we want to win. We don't want to be down the whole game and take it. At that the end. was the we best. Don't want to, we don't want managing I've but seen Kate do ever. Bottom line is that it's so interesting to to watch this now after having seen the FCL matches with no managers and i love that we've and got like first part of that was like okay this is kind of refreshing this is kind of like old school showdown with no managers but then you see this and you see how the managers are able to like really really help the players pressure myself today because i want to come in and just snap them out of it you know and get them back into the game it would have been my biggest cheerleader today and i'm so happy i did it and uh my other brother, Robbie, his birthday's tomorrow on the second. So happy birthday, Robbie. Aww. Aww. Man, oh, all of the emotions. Stop it, Mike. My, you know, your my eyes, there's the onions being so cut. Be uh, who's cutting I'm onions? For him. Damn it. I just and I know hate how proud onions. you would be of everything that you accomplished here today. The fact that you didn't beat up on yourself, <laughs> the fact you didn't let down, and that you were able to pull off this victory. You're you're essentially, you're our Charlotte Flair. You know what I mean? Like I see such great things. I see such great things in you and in your future in this league. And I I hope that you feel that same way. Oh, I'm hungry for more now. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yes, let's like, go. Like, wipe the tears. You're like, all right, I'm ready. So, so I have to ask you. You know, what is next? Who, who are you looking for? Uh, you know, do we have? Do we have no. Anybody's, you know, back. Like, well, who are we looking for, Kate? I we're looking for. Um, I mean, listen. I, I feel like I would like anybody that's on Sam's team at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to keep wa washing that smug face off his face. Right? Like She's trying so hard not to curse. <laughs> like wiping that face smugness off his smugness. Yeah. Oh, well, congratulations, Kate. It feels like a whole new season for the den, and I'm really excited to see what you are going to put together for us this season. We're coming. We're coming. <laughs> I love coming. that. I love that enthusiasm, ladies. Congratulations. Oh, right. I so, have like new said, favorite Mark players. Is, he's off fixing dogs. <laughs> so that's fine. He's gonna Oh my god, dogs. Selvin, we yes. An incredible. Incredible. The moment. amount oh, of nice. crap talk that would be thrown. It was that's that's Chicago versus New York and now. I can relate. I understand i absolutely watch um, i would just say this audition, I know that she's, oh, that's that right christian can relate oh my gosh so everyone who has experienced loss everyone oh who knows that's right that, yeah that particular probably. journey I, and the way that, that she just, has handled yeah. this, the way that she me. has approached this um uh, again i didn't know peggy's brother but i would also agree with saying that he is proud. We Later, are proud Pablo. of the battle that they had here today. What an amazing, amazing performance it was by both of these incredible performers. And now the Boston Badass, Paige Fabretti and best Sam nickname. Levine are standing the by best. with Jen Sturger. Jen? First of all, Sam Page, I know that was a tough loss for both of you. Uh, walk me through that last round, because like I said, you were leading in the first round and second. You looked so impressive. And it's just kind of like the wheels fell off for that three pointer and that five pointer. I'm not going to lie. Honestly, I did not know those questions. How does she have I such good hair is my question. Um, <laughs> like, 
Whoever you guys yeah. will give me. I'll See, this this is why this is why Jill and Molly are here because Brian has <laughs> never seen. <laughs> I was thinking she does have really nice hair. I saw I saw someone yeah, on Twitter talking about her hair, and I was like, oh my god, she does have uh, amazing I hair. Right now, that right there. I mean, so many first-time players play their first Just showdown the match. Volume. It doesn't go their uh. way. They get real bad luck at the end, and they go, oh, I don't. Maybe this isn't for me, or maybe I thought I knew more than I did. Not this girl right here. She cannot wait to get back out there. And that right, is Chuck, the her hair game is strong. Champion. That is the heart of a player it's who hard, belongs it's, on it's, the suspect. It's hard to make the like waves thirsty just look effortless and, and like victories after that. And yeah. look, when it's that I humidity in Boston. The same of all my players. <laughs> you answer the questions just you know. If you don't know, makes you me take your best guess. Sad Sometimes that my hair is away. as long Sometimes as it used to be, but it's growing. <laughs> having no idea if that's right, and the yeah. cards and the chips fall your way. Sometimes you say war horse. You're not sure if it's right, but you yeah. I heard you say it was pouring rain today. It's exactly been like 84 did. degrees Sometimes and you get perfect weather and here. You guess the right oh, thing. it's pouring. It's humid. <laughs> There's still pollen everywhere. I we're miserable <laughs> down here. <laughs> it actually got to a point where it was actually quite hot earlier today. Yeah, two hours ago. I love my guessers. I love them. Oh, I love it. So, did what did you take away from this match today? Um, here's, I have two takeaways. The first is I want to congratulate, um, the great, uh, Kate on, on winning the, the entirety of the Schmodown season <laughs> war. Congratulations. You did it. You got all the champions, your faction of the year manager. Of the, oh, wait a second. What's that? Oh, well, I'm being told this was just a regular match. We're oh, oh is that a smugness for you, Kate? Sam, um, no, I'm going to send am, Sam one of these. Here's my <laughs> I meant what I said. He needs that one after Page that. Absolutely. Uh, by the way, rude. speaking of, I Not saw someone say earlier here, that, that there needs to be, to be view crew fans. When other oh, yes. Here, I'm, oh, I need to look into Page? I want them to go custom oh, no. fans. She was, she was really good. I'm she sure there's someone out there that does those. Round, but what she did in those first two rounds, that was epic. That was someone making a statement. And I know that to be true, and I know she does too, but I get to say it for her. That's the fun yep. part of being a man. They're expensive, but you can get them. I was oh, watching Chuck. both oh, these Chuck. ladies play, but I'm very excited oh, no. for this strong, <laughs> badass female presence that we have here in this league now. Mm -hmm. I'm excited so, for it. I can't wait. To I show. love I can't both wait. of whatever, them. Whoever you guys want to give me next, let's go. The cards didn't that was my, my next today. question. The cards didn't fall my way today, but I'm on to the next one. Peggy just got right. lucky. All I got to say is the girl got lucky. Congrats to her, though, but she got lucky. Grab yourself a Dunkin' and some beers or whatever it is you guys do up there. <laughs> Interesting. Off, and, uh, we'll see you again soon. Man, you look at some passionate players. And <laughs> Mark literally uh, went to go get his dog. You can see exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Aw. Uh, real quick, <laughs> I do want to say this. Um, Paige had already posted. She she replied to our, our stream tweet, and she said, Hey, Miss Peggy. This is just the beginning of a rivalry. In all caps, I want a rematch at a live event at some point. Christian, <gasps> oh Hall, my god, face, yes. make this happen. Ooh. It's, the rivalry's been born. The rivalry has been born, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Can look, we please get a Boston live event? Oh, oh my god, I know. Amazing. I know they've been trying for it. They've been trying it, trying for it for a very long time. Obviously, because of Koi and Roxy and the Odd Couple and or, or Jeff Snyder rather. Um, they've been trying for it for a very long time. Oh, there she is. She steps in. There you go. Um, it, it'll happen for sure once we get back to normal in our lives. But for now, uh, Peggy Govins takes the dub. She makes a comeback victory on this one uh, and a very well-deserved one. She uh, she turned it around a little bit after the first round, and Kate whipped her back into shape. And uh, nothing nothing against Paige because she played great the entire way. But like Molly said earlier, she got a couple of just really tough questions that she just didn't know. Um, that that's round three was hard. The name of the game sometimes. Mm. That was a very hard round three. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, that was so good. I am so glad I didn't get it spoiled. That was like, I knew, I just, there's certain people that when you see the matchup, you're like, that's going to be good. Even if you know nothing about them, you're like, that's going to be a good one. And this was absolutely one of them. I'm so glad it was exactly how I thought it was going to be with just 
back forth, this, that. It, oh, <laughs> so good. I'm so glad I didn't. It was worth being off of my phone for four hours. Uh, I'm not even joking. You should enjoy that time off of technology. I did. I went for a three and a half mile walk. So. Oh. Yeah. Well, I. It's sunshine. I tried to do a plank for as long as I could today, and I went for a minute and ten seconds. Hey, that's something. I don't know. If that's impressive. <laughs> I mean, I can that's maybe a- do ten seconds. My, so yeah, my, that's great. My goal was five minutes, and I was like, "Are you, know you crazy?" What? I'll take it. Five <laughs> minutes. Someone mentioned it to me, and I was like, "I, I'll give it a try." No, nope, minute and ten seconds. Mm-hmm. I mean, minute and ten seconds isn't bad because you're supposed to do it in increments. But hey, that works. <laughs> I, that's yeah. my one exercise of the day, and I'm sure tomorrow I'll be very sore. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> oh, that match is so good. I oh, cannot yeah. wait to see them play other people. There was I just don't something even... about them and just like the way that oh, they nice. played, the the look in their eyes, and obviously there's like the smack talk or whatever, but just okay. it, you could tell that they both really wanted it so Jake. i can't wait to see them play again well, like gabby's comment yeah <laughs> they, are. they are i looked at my my stopwatch and it was at 45 seconds and he was like are you kidding me <laughs> i will say in she, the- she said they're longer than than the microwave minutes oh yeah <laughs> i will say in a mean horrible way that is one of my favorite days in uh at work when the kids have to do hold your planks <laughs> how hold, how long do they have to hold their planks i mean you always have that one kid that can just do it for like 10 minutes but then there's but it's usually like just seeing them scream at each other and be like do it <laughs> this just all start dropping anyways this has nothing to do with <laughs> um well yes congratulations to peggy on the uh, w on her first victory and i'm sure we will definitely see Paige very very soon she's a uh, she's a big personality and um we're looking forward to seeing them both back uh, we can't wait to speak with them again on the show whenever that is but tomorrow uh we will be back the four of us will be back here for a play along and reaction to this big bad boy Alex is in IG and he is facing off against the barbarian in a, what you can kind of consider a, um, I guess almost the number one contenders match. The winner goes on to a number one contenders match. So you can kind of call it like a number two contenders. It's an match. almost number one contenders. <laughs> almost, match. Brian Ward may put that on the poster. Almost number one contenders match. <laughs> um, that'll this be tomorrow. Is, Molly's uh, stressing already. Uh, oh. And it's going to be crazy. I, you know what? Since Alex lost the belt temporarily, we'll say <laughs> uh, he hasn't quite been himself. Um, he so I'm a little bit worried about him going into this match. I'll I'll be honest. He Uh-oh. is a little shaky. Uh oh. Alex doesn't know what to do with no belt. Uh oh. This is his, a- pa- his pants are falling down, and you know, oh, pants <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, to... I'm so excited for that match and for, for, for him to just be back in IG period, I know is exciting for him, especially after losing the belt. I keep saying it and then I'm like, stop bringing it up. Yeah, you, every other sentence is losing the belt. Uh, losing the belt. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they're going to bring it up a bunch in the match and, and Alex will be like, guys, I get it. I lost the belt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Um, Rachel has a good question for our new guest uh, going forward in 2021. How long is a plank minute? <laughs> On top of candy, we can I, ask I, him about candy and exercise are the two things we can ask him about. Interesting. Right up, right up my alley. No, that's definitely not true. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we are going to head out of here today. Thank you so much for joining us today on this reaction and play along to Peggy Gubbins and uh, Paige for Betty. Super, super fun match. Uh, make sure you guys are giving them all the love over, over social media. Let them know who you would love to see them play next. And we will, again, we'll be back here tomorrow for the play along and reaction to Alex Damon and the Barbarian in an IG match. And Jill will be back as well, uh, per usual. 
And uh, yeah, so that's gonna be super, super fun for Molly. Oh, Skyland Moose, we are, we are going to the theater. Yes, we will talk about it tomorrow. Uh, that is for sure. I'm sure you can follow us on Twitter. I'm sure we'll be talking about it there as well. But for now, for Molly, Brian, and myself, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys then. <laughs>